I am outside the Sea Life Centre entrance though. It's just there. This building, I'm pretty sure, used to be the GLC, Greater London Council, or something like that. But there is a queue forming. Now this is weird, a lot of heavy security at all these venues. Birmingham one, <laughs> they waved you through. But here, they're very paranoid. All right, so the first thing we come across as you finish security is this. Oh, it's just a regular arch, except there are sharks underneath, swimming below you. That was fun. Okay, so far I've got to tell you it's disappointing compared to the one in Birmingham, but the one in Birmingham is the National Sea Life Centre. I'm under the sea! Right, there's a huge queue suddenly, and what the queue is for is the big undersea tunnel, which they do have in Birmingham the National Sea Life Centre as well. I wonder what they've got in this one. Hopefully this is just as impressive. Now this one definitely is different from the one at the National Sea Life Centre because that's a kind of 360 experience. The fish are going all around you, including underneath you. But here, it's a bit more basic. That was it. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Not very immersive at all. Yeah, I'm going back to the Birmingham one. Okay, this is a bit more interesting. It's the big sharks. Oh, this is a creepy crawly section. I'm not sure I want to stick around too long here. These are monsters. Look at the size of them. I think on camera it's hard to tell the scale of some of these things. They are absolutely huge. Oh, okay, there's the undersea tunnel down there. There are penguins. I mean, it's not as good as the National Sea Life Centre, but it's all right. And as always, we end in the gift shop. <laughs>